Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I will talk about how to implement single layer perceptron, which we talked before in previous video. And in this video, I will just uh, show uh, how to implement these uh, single layer structures, which are perceptrons. I will talk about uh, how to implement it with C++ uh, and I will make an example also. This is very important. Why important? Because this is the fundamental, this is the starting point. And when this code finished, uh, any data pairs giving us like stars or moons, this or this, we will just check. It can be linearly separable. If linearly separable, then it will uh, draw a line between these two class and this will be our classifier with a learning rate also we will do this we will exactly uh, implement this mathematical model to inside our C++ code and let's starting quickly and create a neural class uh, neural layer class mm -hmm. let's make it new and the name will be neural class and we will starting in this video i will make just create the class of this code and in the next video i will implement add all i will finish and the people uh, watching now maybe if they don't want to buy, buy one by checking they can directly go and take the code from the github i will share in github later and let's starting what do we need first of all mm. We need, uh, as a starting, we need uh, our x1, w1, w2, w3 bias, learning rate also we need. Let's implement at all. First of all, let's say weights, initialize weights, weights, weights. Let's say, ah, uh, initialize the weights. Yeah, the weights, okay. I will call them as a double type which is w1 is equal to let's start initialize with the uh, zero and w2 also this one and double w3 is also 0, 0.0 and we will have a learning rate which we will use later and let's also define this as an nl is equal to let's starting with 0 0.2 we can play later about this and we will have a bias let's call this as bias is equal to one um we also need uh, as we check here our data pairs and corresponding to this one target values we need which as a which as an input to our neural network for this maybe we should define some libraries vector and also we will need probably math function we will also need probably I also trim for see the results and let's starting with inputs let's make it comment first inputs um, I will make it as a matrix and okay which one this will be uh, let's say inputs and I will define uh, in here I will write our data pairs which are how to say this x1 and x2 right and these are will be our class um, inputs one class uh, the the how to say in this for example in this graph this will be x and x2 x1 and x2 and in this model these x1 and x2 also means that so in here I will write that one also I will write the targets I will give the targets values to our neural networks which will be also just um, this will not should be a bigger 2D matrix also 
I'm not giving these data pairs now and these targets now. I will uh, put later. These are, you shouldn't forget, these inputs are this and targets will be this one. And this will be our test results or any given data we will give in the beginning. I will fill these places later. Just don't worry now, okay? Then what is next? Uh, as you can see in the model, we have two step. First of all, forward pass, which is continue in this way. And also second is backward pass, which is in the opposite part. And in this backward pass, we are updating our weights. Then uh, we will sh yeah, this in neural networks, we generally separate to two parts our model. First of all, forward pass and second is the backward pass. Um, let's starting with forward pass. What I mean is, in forward pass, we first of all calculating y. We are getting y from this uh, equation. And after taking y, this is input of sigmoid function, our sigmoid function, which I chose this one as our sigmoid one. And then we will, as an output of the sigmoid, we are getting that to decide the threshold and we are getting the output. This is forward. Let's do this starting from this part. And okay, let's call this as a function get y. And this get y will take first of all double x1, which is first input data pair, and x2. What does it need? And nothing else. Okay. This will take this one, this one, w1 already known, already known, already known, already known, and calculating y. Okay, this is first function. Second function will be sigmoid function. And let's call it sigmoid find. And what this will one, this one takes. This one only takes the output of the get y, which is y. Okay. And we also get this one y enter sigmoid and get the output of sigmoid after output of sigmoid we will take the decide the threshold and this will be threshold threshold out and this will get output of the sigmoid okay forward pass down now we will uh, implement the Backward pass. Uh, in backward pass, what we are doing actually in backward pass, uh, first of all, we will calculate the error and then we will update our weights simply. Then it means we need to do two things. First of all, uh, double get error, which is the easy one, just taking the target and also taking the result which we get then after that we will update our weights um, let's call it update weights and what this one will take as you can check from the model again uh, we know w's which are weights we know learning rates, uh, we only need x1, x2 and error, x3 also which is uh, bias we also know and let's continue double x1, double x2 we need which are data pairs, our data pairs and we also need error which we get from this part okay it all looks like done then let's pass on the cut part at all sigmoid okay okay this is done okay it's all done uh, when our class is called, let's write 
neural class is called okay why my computer slow I don't know it will be coming slow whatever how to get why we will just implement this one let's do it quickly and return we know w1 times x1 plus w2 times x2 plus ys times w3 and done and what else we need sigmoid function uh, x2 i'm wrong okay sigmoid function what will be returned in our function is this is not minus one this is minus why, why i'm still not fix this anyway we'll use this sigmoid functions inside many kind of and minus one we said let's make it one over as parenthesis exponential minus one times y and did we forget anything let's check yeah we didn't put one plus okay and threshold out in here why we need this one because uh, according to which target values you are giving for example i am planning to give one and zero which you can uh, understand stars or moon squares or circle but i will implement them as a mathematics site mathematical model, model site one and zeros and between them the middle point of one and zero is 0 0.5 so i will simply check if the out of this uh, sigmoid function is uh, smaller than 0 0.5 then I will make it zero rounded you can think like rounded and if bigger than 0 0.5 I will make it one this is done and uh, getting error is simply target minus error as we talked in here before target, target minus not error result and how to update weights uh, you are again I'm passing again and again we will update this one uh, let's make simply quickly w1 is equal to w1 ta plus learning rate which is nl error and x1 and done uh, let's update all the weights okay w2 w3 w3 w2 and x1 x2 x3 uh not x3 yes okay uh actually in this part we done at all uh we are implemented all these things as a class uh in the next video I will show step by step in our main CP part how to use these functions, how to implement this model. Uh, in this one, we don't need double actually because there's no need to return anything. Okay, uh, see you in the next videos. Next video, I will finish this part at least and I will share this all code when finish at all. I will share in GitHub also. Then, okay. See you in the next video.